Hey you, do you usually put yourself in situations where you're like, Wow, I really shouldn't have done that. Well, that means you're a sucker for punishment. Whether you like puns or shot pointy things pointed at you, we have the right merch for you. Sucker for punishment. Available in t-shirts, hoodies, and mugs, and stickers. Limited edition, only available until October 19. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Welcome to Salty Spa, where we don't just put water. We use Epsom salt, sea salt, and we also use, yes, saffron salt. So it is a time to kick back, relax, and make sure that you bring the salt inside the essence of your soul. Hey Grains, welcome to Cash or Trash, where we review... Wow, English, I cannot talk today. It's gonna be... I already saw that coming, I was like, oh, already. No talkie talkie. Where we review multiple craft kits and uh, so that you don't waste your money, but we do. Today I'm joined by my sister Sika. Y'all love her more than me. We're going to be looking at three different kits that are supposed to be spa-like in theme. And yes, I did do one previously also. I'll leave a link for that in the iCard section and description box below. The first kit we're going to be looking at is a mermazing soap making kit. Next, we're going to be looking at the other Walmart, wall, wall, wall magic, wall mold. <laughs> called STMT. And we're going to be doing bath bombs. So this is a DIY bath bomb kit. And last but not least, a universe color change lip balm kit. I am really excited about this one. Let me know grains in the comment section below which one do you have the most hope on. I'll have to say that the lip balm one seems really cool so my expectations are here. I'm pretty excited about the bath bomb one. The packaging looks really cool and I love bath bombs so I'm hoping it works out really well. So if it does, I'll, I'll give you some. Yes. When it comes to Salty Crafter, it is really hard. I mean really hard to get her to relax. So this is the perfect theme for her to try and calm down her salt levels, but trust me, it is really hard. Our first victim, Mermazing Soap Making Kit. For those of you wondering, this one costs $20. I don't know how I feel about soap kits anymore. And she had a negative experience with jelly soaps. So gross, it didn't hold at all. In the trash! Because jelly soaps are full of poop! I'm really excited about this kit simply because I love the amount of layers on each soap. If this works, it reminds me so much of Royalty Soaps. She makes the most amazing layered soaps. Royalty Soaps? Oh, let me introduce my sister to Royalty Soaps. Let me see. That! Alright, so this is actually soap. And she's cutting it. Ta-da! It's really pretty. It is. She is so talented. So for those of you who don't know Katie, check her out. She's she's pretty awesome at soap making. So satisfying. I know. So as I mentioned, the swivels and swirls on this soap look so much like something that she would be able to make. It's really pretty. I really like it. Now you know why I'm excited. Let's see what we get inside. Mm -hmm. Grains, I swear I fed her before this video. <laughs> Two blocks of glycerin soap, one in white and the other one transparent. Opaque? Oh, never mind. You said white. I thought you meant opaque. Oh, never mind. Don't ever correct me again! A plastic soap mold. That's gonna make one big soap. You're supposed to cut them. Molds in the shape of sea creatures. I'm doing this because there's like diamonds. And hearts. And heart. There's a heart. Yeah, there's hearts. So they're not sea creatures. Everything from a mermaid tail, a toidle. Toidle. Seahorse. Seahorse. We also get little baggies that are iridescent. Iridescent. They're really pretty. Very mermaid themey. We get three colors. Purple, turquoise, and blue. Believe it or not, they're going to correct you and tell you but- Jessica, you're saying it wrong. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. We're French here. <laughs> so turquoise. 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 Turquoise, but turquoise in English. We get a strawberry fragrance. What are you doing? Does it smell good? It smells like candied strawberries. Oh, I hate that smell. It smells like, you know those candied strawberries yeah. that look like strawberry wrappings? I'm, yeah, it, no. That's exactly what that. it is. I hated those candies. We have a stirring stick, just a string. Ooh, pretty. And we also get some mermaid type looking glitter. This glitter is not environmentally safe. If you see glitter in any kind of kit that is supposed to be washed down the drain, do not, I said do not. Don't do it. Don't use it. This is absolutely dangerous for the environment. 
So this is supposed to be water aqua themed, but it's ruining the water aqua theme. No, absolutely not. It's so pretty. No. So according to the instructions, we need to cut our soap cubes into about one inches, divide them, melt it, and then add 10 drops of fragrance and about five drops of the colorant. Once we fill up the first layer, as well as some of the other little decorations, we're supposed to put in the fridge just enough for the other batch to be melted. Oh no! What was that? Oh no, uh, again? Oh, oh, they're so loosey-goosey. Loosey-goosey. <laughs> All right, so even though it told us to put this in the fridge so that we can start mixing the colors, we went right away to melt this one so that the other one doesn't solidify. We did not put it in the fridge, but the bottom one is pretty solid. We're going to try and see if we can actually mix the colors, but... I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, look at this. It's already starting to harden. It is nowhere near the quality, obviously, of royalty soaps because it's glycerin. It's going to melt very quickly. I think we're gonna have to put this back in. All right, so here's the swirl. I'm just gonna cut through the one at the bottom to hopefully get some kind of purple inside in between. I don't know if that's oh, gonna- I don't think this is gonna work out. Oh boy. Better to try, not try. Oh my gosh, it's, it's not gonna, wow. I'm just gonna go diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Let's see what happens. Next layer. No. Oh no! Again? Not again, oh my god. Fish it up. And here's our last layer, a little bit of white. Are you grains ready for this? I'm a little nervous. First of all, it seemed like it was quite a big bar of soap, but we barely get anything. We barely get half. We get only an inch of thickness. That's how thick our soap is. All right, let's unmold it and see what it looks like. Be gentle, be gentle, be, be gentle. <laughs> oh my God. Well, you need to come down with it. I got this. It won't come out of the bowl. You see what I mean? No, no, I got this. Oh, don't touch. I know what I'm doing. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> Stop it. I feel like we should cut it. No, nope. we just need to get the air in there. You're gonna cut it, aren't you? I knew it. <laughs> just don't cut yourself. Oh, that took forever. And now for these little buggers. Don't break it. Did it come out nice? Oh. Not really. Oh, here's our mermaid tail. Oh, turtle. It's so weird. They didn't come out very nice. That's because it was melting way faster than what we could pour. Look. And by the way, remember how sticky the white one was? Well, even though it's already melted and rehardened, it's still really sticky. Yeah, they're, they're very loopy. Yeah, well, I think this is the only one that came out somewhat nice. Yeah. So as you can see, the actual loaf of soap is not very pretty. It's really thin and also the pieces of the little mold things, they all come out really, really derpy. Derpy. If you look at the instructional sheet here, it shows that you can cut them because there's a crease, but ours are actually uh, backwards, I guess you could say. Yeah. Our creases, we don't have a crease, we have a bump out. So we're just basically cutting a mound. Yep. All right, let's cut and see the swirls that we get. That's a big, sharp, pointy thing. Confess! What did you do? All right, moment of truth. I will cut behind this bump. And pretty well, boring. You can actually tell where everything separates, and if you try hard enough, they come apart. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I don't know if I can get the rest, but the white one was very easy to remove. Oh, well, I mean, you have to force it. Now I am forcing, yeah. But before but you can it. see how the white parts are way more squishy, so it doesn't have much consistency to it. Yeah. And personally, I really don't feel like putting the molds on top will make it any better, <laughs> because the molds are really not pretty, and they're bigger. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. They're bigger, here. So for $20, the white soap is squishy. And sticky, very sticky. The activity shows that it could be very swirly, but the actual technique is absolute trash. Because I feel like what they would have wanted you to do is take two of the melted ones and, and pour at the same time. Right, it, it makes just way that more been, sense. Yeah, that would have been a lot better, but that's not what they give us as instructions. So we follow their instructions and it looks nothing like the box. And personally for a sticky soap, I would say that this kit goes straight in the trash. I miss the garbage. Try again. In the trash. Next we have STMT. And this kit is boasting bath bombs. I really am excited about this because the molds are actually metallic. At least the molds? The mold, the, this thing. Oh. It's metal. Yes. Comprende? Comprende. 
Sometimes you have a hard time, don't you? And this kit costs $20. According to the box, we should be able to create five of the scented bath bombs, which comes out to about $4 a bath bomb, which makes them technically cheaper than the Lush brand, but you but never know. I don't know. think they're going to be as good. Yeah, but you don't know if they're going to be... Lush grade? Yeah, maybe they're going to be good. I highly doubt that. Maybe the salt will not need to be the rising. To be the rising. To be the rising? Well, grammar number one. I'm going to see what's inside. <laughs> That's my line! any further let's just make sure that it, this this kit has one of the biggest allergies I have as you can see over here includes everything you need but we know that it's full of salt because in here it says not included for a lot of stuff like what well it says here water not included obviously <laughs> bowl Ow. Ow. <laughs> So essentially it says that a lot of things are not including, including the measuring bowls, measuring cups. Here's what we get inside. Five bath bomb mixtures individually packaged, one huge pack of baking soda, a metal type mold, two cents in vanilla and lavender. I hate lavender smell. Maybe it doesn't smell bad. All right, let's check. I can barely smell it. Is it just me? I can't smell it either. It smells like lemongrass. <laughs> What? Do I even bring you here? Does it smell good? <laughs> I think that's gonna suit her. Ah, it's on my hair! The lavender... <coughs> it's salt coming out. It's not the lavender smell. It smells like lemongrass. I don't smell the vanilla either. Let me smell vanilla. Oh, that is really light. It's like maybe five <laughs> kilometers away, there's a bakery. <laughs> right? I can't even smell it. It's there, but and it's really, so really faint. Too. I'm afraid you're gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you, by the way. Come here, now I'm thinking about it. Interestingly enough, we also get mica powder. This is really rare, and I think it's the one of the only kits that provided mica powders. Yeah, because they're expensive, no? They're actually really expensive, it's true. So we get six different colors. Ooh, they're nice. They're really pretty. Non-environmentally safe glitter. You know exactly how I feel about that. Na Coconut, Coconut oil. oil. Yeah, that is really rare, because most of the times when it... It doesn't smell like coconut. I think my nose is broken. <laughs> oh my god. Does it smell like coconut oil to you? You know, if I wanted this kind of abuse, I would bring my parrot here. So as I was saying, coconut oil, which is really rare because most of these kits want you to use vegetable oil from home. So far, the quality of this kit seem really good. M my expectations are a little higher now. Rose petals? Yeah. Rose petals. No! No! You think I don't know you now? Now I see a pattern, you just steal things from me. I want to know! I want to be the... Help me! I don't smell anything! This kit is carp! It doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. Maybe it needs to be activated in water. So the instructions are saying that we need to add the bath bomb mixture, two tablespoons and one teaspoon of baking soda, mix thoroughly. And then if we want to add two colors, this is where we separate them and add half a teaspoon of the mica powders. Afterwards, half a teaspoon of the coconut oil into the mixture and 15 drops of the oil of our choice. All right, now, oh my, okay, wait, wait. This is the moment of truth because a lot of times, a lot of the bath bombs mess up their... Are you scratching your face? <laughs> yes, my nose is itching. All right, slowly. Ooh, so far so good. Now be very gentle. <gasps> nice. It worked. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, that is quite heavy. You can hurt someone with this. That's the first place my mind went to. <laughs> it's really pretty, it looks like the earth. Mm-hmm. All right, so, so far, this kit has been giving really great instructions. Time to see how it does in the water. Wow. This has got to be one of my favorite moments, and let's, let's do this. Ready? Please fizz nicely. Let's do this. Honestly, it's a really mild fizz. I expected a lot more. Now it just looks like it's... The fatty part of when you're cooking meat. Yuck. 
That's what it looks like. Look at that. It's kind of disappointing. Oh my gosh. Maybe it'll fizz more. Let's keep watching. Yeah, that is not looking, that is not looking like a spa. <laughs> kind of looks like mud. It feels like mud, actually. Yeah, it does. So the surface feels very muddy. So as fun as this was as an activity, I don't think I'd ever bathe with it. No, me neither. I feel like Ugh. the recipe... Ugh, gross. Yeah, it needs a little tweaking because the top just looks like scum. Gross. Jackie, do you love me? Sometimes. <gasps> no! Now that I got the taste of bath bomb out of my mouth, are you proud of yourself? This kit has us really conflicted. The activity was fun, it actually worked well until we put it in the water. So everything, including the instructions, which was a little booklet that was colored, worked so well. So the, the conflict? Conflict? You know, it sounds weird now. Yeah, conflicted? Conflict? Conflict? So the issue has to do with it being in the water and it feels really greasy and it just makes this weird ugly grayish foam on top. So maybe if you replace the coconut oil, maybe with argan oil, that could work. But at $20 in this case, since it's pretty gross in the water, I would say skeptically it would go in the trash. So far, two out of two kits have been in the trash. Which means this is supposed to be a salty spa. Terrible spa. So before we go on to our third one, let's breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Universe ch loved color change lip, lip balm. I highly doubt it's gonna change colors. I've believed too many kits when they've said that, so I'm already salty about this. And I especially think it seems like it's a little misleading because it says color change. change not which color I, changing. Yeah, not color changing. So my guess is that it's two different colors. Just a little skeptical on that one. The box does look really cute though. It really caught our attention. And for those of you who are wondering, this kit costs- Do you think that this is- how much did it cost? So for those oh, of you guys- nice. Did you see all of those kinds of like smells? Oh my god, I wonder if they taste good. Which one do you want? I like blueberry. I want citrus. You like citrus? You're so weird. <laughs> So what for those of you who are wondering- I don't know what that- what is that? Probably the wax chips. Why do you need wax chips? Can you let me- Keep going! So for those of you wondering, this kit costs $17 Canadian, and interestingly enough, at- at- at Walmart. At Walmart. <laughs> it does have two ratings in which they cumulatively have only one star review, which means- It's gonna be a carb kit! Time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Five containers for the lip balm. And they sound super plasticky. Pretty cheap. Are you done? Three flavors, three colors. Strawberry Nova, Citrus Cyclone, and Blueberry Blast. You also get a shimmer. But first, let us do the smelling. So blueberry smell smells it? like melted, like Ooh, Mr. Freezy. Yeah, it's, this one doesn't smell like anything. Which one's that supposed to be? Strawberry. Yeah, it smells like <coughs> Very sweet strawberry. I can't smell it. I think your nose is broken. I don't smell it. Do you have a cold? No. <laughs> and then we have the citrus, which I usually don't like. Oh yeah, I can smell the citrus. It smells like a bathroom citrus. Mm. Ugh, it smells like toilet. Sm you smell like toilet. Your face smells like toilet. That's why I put bath bomb all over it. That's bullying. <laughs> Wax chips. Oh, this is starting to look really familiar. Is this made by Horizon? All right, Grains, this kit is made by Horizon Group. For those of you who don't remember, I did a Barbie craft kit, which was also a lip balm, and it was made by Horizon Group. Not only did they have spelling mistakes everywhere, really, but the kit actually made me get myself, get myself. Get your... <laughs> English so good! You better get yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> I actually had like second degree burns from the steam making that. Yes, I did. I was walking around with a band-aid for a few days. I have a feeling this kit is going to be pretty similar. We also have color changing. Not just color change. Color changing. Color changing. So it's a lip base that is supposed to change colors once we put it on our lips. So since the process is similar, let's go ahead. Sika wants to test whether, oh my god, wants to test if it's going to change colors from friction. Oh, I think you're about pink. Oh my god, it did. Let me try it. Whoa! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Look at my 
my finger is still pink. <laughs> She's pretty impressed right now. But I'm really afraid it's gonna stain my finger. <laughs> just to be very clear, this method that they want you to use for this kit, which is kind of having a pot of hot water and then putting the plastic container inside to melt it, does not work. I've tried it in two different Horizon groups and they do not work. Let's be very clear, nay on the working in this method. So the only way this works, again, this is not a kit for young people. It is definitely for older uh, people who can use hot water. I don't want to say children. So the way I'm going to be doing it is putting a pot of actually hot water boiling, putting the plastic container inside with the wax chips and the wax base, and then adding all the ingredients inside. That is the only way to get this to work, trust me. There's a reason why it has one star. Alright, so just to make sure that we didn't- we- we- we don't get you great saying. But Jackie, you're doing it wrong! We made two of them, in which one of them Sika put the wrapper in because she did it right, and then I tried to do it and I obviously messed up. You done messed up! I done messed up! Alright, so Sika, let's see yours. I'm scared. I'm scared too. And ooh, ooh. Whoa. Oh. Minus the fact that I put this in there, it that smells really good. All right, so this is. It looks like a brain. It does. It was, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, so once it's smoothed out, I think it would be okay. What does it feel? Oh wait, like? hang on. I'm using the wrong finger. <laughs> it's so weird. It's changing color in my finger. Let's see on your lips. Yeah, it's a little pink. All right. Yeah, you guys can see it's slightly pinker. Well, it's as pink as my finger. <laughs> How does it feel? Moisturizing so far? <laughs> Doesn't taste like anything, but it smells nice. How does it feel? Like a normal lip balm? Oh no, it feels weird actually. All right, now it's my turn. And this is, I think this is the one I messed up, right? Yep. And, <laughs> oh no, I really, oh my God. Oh wow. Yeah, I really, I really, oh no. <laughs> It looks so weird. It's like an iceberg. It's kind an of. ice cave. Try it. All right, so let's let's get a little a little closer to my luscious lips. Oh my god. It turns pink fast, I find. Mhm. Mm so you grains can see the difference between the lower lip and the upper lip. Oh my god. Oh, you can see a little bit of the pink also show up here. Let's let's see what I look like with pink lips. I look so cute. <laughs> it smells really good. Yours is the blueberry one. It right? is the blueberry one. I totally took yours over. I know. Mm. <laughs> so overall, as long as you are aware that you may not use a double boiler effect, you really do have to put it on the stovetop, this kit surprised both of us. It is actually color changing. It does have a nice lip to mouth feel. <laughs> lip to mouth feel. That's how I'm calling it. And got if you it. got something, then come and fight me. <laughs> <laughs> you uppercut me. So I would say this kit is definitely worth your cash. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to see more, more of Sika, you can follow me on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. And mine is all at nerdycrafter. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Because y'all love salt, so my guess is I'm gonna choose this one. Thank you so much for watching my little grains. Until then, I will see you in the next video.